Alright guys, so I just take the plastic wrap off. As we open this up, you got this uh, pretty cool box. So it actually lifts that right up for you. So you get a great display here of the um, actual tablet itself. Pop this out for you. We'll put that off to the side and I'll get back to it in one second. Behind that you have this little startup guide. Um, you know, just pretty much tells you how to work the device, some quick tips on there. And um, you know, you can look at that at later use if you'd really want to. Beneath that is the AC adapter. So, it says Nook on there. You got the USB port there. And you have the little prongs that come right out. You plug that into your wall. Behind that is the actual USB cord. Um, this has a, looks to be almost like an iPod dock, um, like a 30 pin connector. So that is a special um, connector you'd have to buy, which kind of sucks because they get you on that. But other than that, I believe that's all that's in the box. So as you can see, there's nothing else in there. Close this back down. That was a pretty cool design. I gotta say, the packaging's almost Apple standards as far as, um, you know, you guys can say what you want, but Apple definitely does put a hell of a product out and they do make um, really nice packaging for it. I gotta say, this competes very well with it. So as far as in the hands feel, um, it feels really good. I, uh, you know, I have pretty large size hands, um, just to give you a perspective here. So I'm able to pick it up with one hand, um, which is really nice. I've um, you know, definitely been, like I said, looking for tablets, and um, I'm not a huge reader. Um, I think one of the main drawbacks for reading for me is I usually read before I go to bed or something. I'm laying in bed, you know, I hate having to always have a light on, and you gotta, you know, worry about the book falling apart, and you got, you know, all the pages and crap going everywhere. Um, I like something nice and neat like this. It's a, uh, you know, nice design. You can pick up in one hand, read it. You got HD quality. I mean, as far as I was looking at some um, books on there while we were at the store, and it is absolutely fantastic quality, a crisp, clear text. I mean, honestly, that's the first thing that sold me on this was just the display alone. Um, very, very nice. Another thing that sets it apart from the other competitors is you have this little um, hole type thing down here. And um, I'm not really sure what the use is for it, but it's definitely different. I guess you could plug in like a, a lanyard or something like that, you know, so you got a little bit more control and don't let it fall. But, um, you know, that's one difference there. On the bottom, another really big selling point. This is an um, expandable memory slot, so you can throw in a micro SD card in there. I have like no fingernails, so I won't be able to pop it off. But you can put in up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Um, so you can essentially get a 64 gigabyte tablet for under 200 bucks plus tax. I mean, that's unheard of for this type of quality. You have the um, port beneath or to the right of that. You got your little um, microphone, I believe, right down there. On the side, there's nothing going on. Up top, these are probably your volume rockers. And on the side here is your uh, power adapter. And you also have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there. So let's see if it turns on. It does, so that's good. You guys got a hell of a reflection of me in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, I've always been a big Apple fan. And uh, after looking at this, I'm essentially getting like a 32 gigabyte iPad for, you know, 200 bucks compared to about 600 for an Apple. So, I mean, that's just ridiculous. But you can see it's loading right there. All right, so now it's going to be a setup guide and kind of walk you through the steps, and we'll go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. I think, honestly, it's an incredible value for the price. I'll let you know what I think of it. I'll do a little review in probably a week or so. And, um, you know, please stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll go from there. But I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, like down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Tell me if you have one. Tell me if you've looked at one. And um, we'll go from there. But thanks again, and see you in the next one.